Welcome to This Is The Day with me, Bo Chancy. And Ariana Earnshaw. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know how we knew that? We saw our names right up top. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to see your name in lights? I like the way that it rolls back the paper Ooh. and then it says, Ariana Earnshaw. I know, I was like, that's you. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see it, You're Ariana? It. You're that was you. It. Yeah. What kind a, of a big deal. It's, it's kind of a big deal. No, it's not, you are. Mm, no, it is. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're kind of a big deal. Okay. People know you. <laughs> hey, same to you. Yeah, well, I do have a fan club. What's it, what, what's it called? What are your fans called? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, are, what, what are my fans called? Yeah, I'm just wondering. Um, um, the Chan fans. Okay. Yeah. 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 What are your fans called? Mm, they don't exist yet. <laughs> we're still we're still creating a fan base. Okay. <laughs> they do exist. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. Wouldn't it be that would be like really freaky to have a fan club? Extremely. I don't think that would be neat at all. Extremely. Terrifying. Alarming. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because what yeah. Final answer, yeah. <laughs> 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 yep. Although it would be kind of interesting to like create a club that was a fan club. Like, like fans? Fans, all kinds of, well, you could make the paper fans. Yeah. You could have the. I love. <laughs> all kinds of, you could just do a fan club. I love paper fans. And you could I have haven't made oscillating a fans. Yes. Ceiling fans. Yep. Uh, what other kind of fans are there? <laughs> Uh, uh, those ones that you put in the window, window fans. Window, a box <laughs> fan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The fan club. What would you do at the fan club? This. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. I shouldn't have used a napkin. I shouldn't have used a napkin. Okay. You ever seen the, uh, the, the fan that attaches to the cell phone? No. Oh, yeah, they got one of these bad boys. <laughs> Oh, oh, what are the um, fans that you spray water the when Mr. it's hot fans. out? Mr. Fan. Mr. Fan. Mr. Fan. Mr. Fan. Mr. Fan. I want Mr. Fan. Mr. Mr. Fan. Mr. Mr. Fan. <laughs> I want one now. I forgot about those. I also forgot about these. These are fun. Oh, Except yeah. for this one really doesn't work because it flops. But. Yeah, we used to do that uh, with the, uh, the program in church. Mm -hmm. And the, the bulletin or whatever sure, they yeah. call it. Yeah, you make all kinds of things. But one thing was a fan, mm -hmm. particularly during the summer. Mm -hmm. And you're over there. <laughs> I never, Could you ever? Oh, go no, no, you go. No, you first. Okay, I was just going to say, I never learned how to make a paper airplane out of a piece of paper. It's so sad. No? No. Ever, ever? Ever, ever. Okay. Okay, your thing now? Well, okay. <laughs> Did you ever do the... Uh, yes. The, <laughs> So you could do those, but not the paper airplane? Yeah, for some reason. Okay, so we are two different, totally different people <laughs> with different skill sets. So I am not going to teach you how to make an air paper okay. airplane. And you're not going to teach me how to do that. No, I'm not. Because I don't know how to do that. I just was always like. Yeah, I could do it really fast. And it tells the future. It does. Who, who are you going to marry? How many kids <laughs> you're going to have? Where you're going to live? Where you're going to live? What kind of car you're going to drive? So much. I'm like, wow. None of which has happened to me yet. Well, it, it changes to bit depend on the day. <laughs> Every time you do it, you get a, you get a new, new answer. Future. So you, yeah, if you don't like it, you're just, just like no. Let's run that back. No. Paper. What do you call that thing? A fortune teller. Oh, is that what? <laughs> cool. I thought they were like paper fortune. Maybe no, that's cool. Not. I just didn't know. I don't know. Maybe they're not. Now that I said it, I don't know if it's right. Okay. But I had a lot of fun with them. Yeah. Sometimes we would just do ones that had like they have like the numbers and they have the color and then you lift them uh -huh. and it would just say like. You look great. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was like a uh, compliment generator. Yeah, but we wouldn't tell people that it was that. It would be like, want to know, like, want to know something about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. And then it would be like compliments. And then there'd be one that was like, eh. Snarky. <laughs> yeah. You get a little snark in there? <laughs> yeah. I, it's hard to imagine you being all that snarky. Like, what yours, yours would be what? Like, your pants are tacky. <laughs> but I like them and I'd wear them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's why I like them. That's right, yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, that shirt is too busy in pattern. And I think that's really going to be the next trend. <laughs> <laughs> that shirt's too busy in pattern, but you pull it off. But you're pulling it off. Yeah, nobody else could. Nobody else oh could God. wear that shirt except for you. All right. And I'm like, I gotcha.
And I'm like, it's just a black it's just v-neck. I'm so sorry. It's really not that busy. I don't know. Okay. All right. Um, welcome to This Is The Day. <laughs> Want to do a verse of the day? Sure do. Here we go. Uh, our verse of the day is from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9. It says, indeed, we felt we had received the sentence of death, but this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. Uh, I'll read it again. Indeed, we felt we had received the sentence of death, but this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. Mm. What jumps out at you there, Ariana? Um, I like, so two like themes mm-hmm. pop into my brain, trusting in God is maybe the one that popped into my brain first. And then just like God's power and like his proof that he saved us and he is with us always and we can trust on him, trust in him. Like, I don't know, when I'm reading it, I'm like, okay, that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God. I'm like, yeah, always trust that God is delivering us. And even when we are like, no, this is a good path. Like, I see this thing as good to myself. And God is telling you to go maybe take a different path or like see a different side of something. Like, we rely on God, but not ourselves. So that trust. Um, But then there's a comma. (laughs) And it said, who raised the dead? Like, the almighty power and that true power that we can rely on. I don't know. I just was like power trust and I'm just like cool. Yeah, absolutely. The the power and trust thing, like uh, if we trust in God, then we have access to his power. There's power in that trust. Yeah. If we trust in ourselves, then it's like we're denying oh. the power of God. So we don't pow- have power that's good enough to do much of anything. Our, <laughs> all of our greatness ends in death. The best, and that doesn't mean that there aren't good things yeah. about us, or we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We're mm-hmm. made in the image of God. Um, but everything that I can produce or generate on my own ends in death, and it's over. And if I create a name for myself, a fan club, <laughs> for instance, yeah. those people wouldn't even know me. Yeah. So the, the people who know us, we are two generations away from being completely unknown. Yeah. And for some, that's like, you know, shocking or depressing. And I don't think it's either. I just think it's, it, it can be sobering to go, well, wait a minute. Am I, am I trying to really make a name for myself or am I going to re- receive the, you know, and say yes to the name above all names and that I'm a part of his family and he has a place for me in his house because everything I'm going to do on my own, on my own strength, and how, no matter how great it is, it, in, it just ends in death Yeah, and it's forgotten. Mm-hmm. And nobody knows. Yeah. But God does know because he, he raises the dead. So I like how it says, you know, indeed we felt we had received a sentence of death. Well, mm-hmm. it felt that way because we have. Yeah. That is our reality. Um, and we can get caught up in that, but all it produces is death. But this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God mm. who raises the dead. That's so cool. Very cool. So there is a reason, you know, to keep on loving. That's why, like, you know, Paul says, uh, for me to live is Christ, to die is gain. Like, I, I desire to, you know, go ahead and die and just be with him yeah. in his glory, which is just an amazing thing to think about, his, his glory, to behold him in his glory without there being any barrier of, of sin. Also to be able to see others, you know, and be relationally connected without there being any barriers of sin and death um, and the, the glory of that. Um, which is better by far, but I mean, if I'm to go on living, I mean, it's like that lyric in the, the song we do, uh, you know, like I'm, I'm not dead yet, you know, as long oh, as yeah. there's... If I'm not dead, then you're not done. Yeah, if I'm not dead right? yet, yeah, yeah, you're not done. And uh, I just, I love that. That's my testimony, if anyone is wants to go listen to that song. That's the um, name of it? The name of the song is my testimony, okay. and that's the bridge of the song. It's really, yeah, and it does speak of that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. And um, anyway, so I think that's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, did Have you met Snelson Mandela? Have I personally? Yeah, have you no. been introduced? Okay, well, let's cut over okay. to uh, our snail cam. Uh, you can go ahead and get down. And he, he does, okay. he's uh, fine if you want to get close. But, okay. Um, this is Snelson to, I'm Mandela. I'm going to actually come over uh, here. Snelson, this is uh, Ariana Earnshaw. Hi. Um, hey, you know, buddy. Hey, buddy. He's in there. He likes he likes new people. 
So, Hi. You know. Yeah, he's. How's he looking? <gasps> he's real. Well, of course he's real. Well, I know he's real, but like he's he. Hi. His snails are wacky looking. Yeah. Well, we've encouraged the This Is The Day fan to, uh, fam to send some snail mail yeah. to Snelson Mandela. You can mail that to 56 Old Bedford Road, yep. Bedford, New Hampshire, yep. 03110. Absolutely, and you should. To Snelson Mandela. I'm going to send some mail. Yeah. But I'm going to take it, the time to put like go home, write the mail, put a stamp on it, okay. mail it in, even though I'm here every day, because he deserves that. We have still not done our research, though, so we don't know the life expectancy of a snail in captivity. Well, then we better make his last days good ones. <laughs> better get that snail mail in. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> now's your chance. Because we don't know, man. Yeah. He hasn't moved the whole time I've been sitting here, but I think snails are slow, right? That's, that's the whole thing about snails. That's, part, that's one of the things. Snail too. mail, yeah, okay, got it, yeah. Snail mail. Um, so, okay. we, so he's alive, probably. Well, I do appreciate the attention that you um, afforded to Snelson Mandela. Thanks, Snelson very Mandela. Very generous of you. Yeah. Okay, uh, we have a calendar page. <sighs> I don't, this is, this is weird to me. I read it, I'm not, I, I guess it's, I don't know if it's true. Okay. Maybe you know. It says, make ice last longer in a cooler. When you go to the beach and you take your cooler with you, sprinkle salt on the ice so that it stays frozen for much longer. I don't know if that's true. I, w I don't not believe it, but that's the thing. Like, peop like, if you put salt on an ice cube and you hold it, it burns you. It, like, burns your Why skin. Why you do that? I, don't, I, d I haven't done it. I just <laughs> know that that happens. Okay. It was like, well, when we have it was a thing. Uh, dumb, but, like, if you hold a salt-covered ice cube, it will burn your skin. So I don't know that I really want to like well, it. Is it like an insulator? I don't, I'm not, if we, if, in the winter, when we have ice on the steps, we put I know, salt it on it. And it melts the ice. I know, that's why I'm like, am I getting pranked by the calendar here? <laughs> you go to the beach like one hour in, it's just a it's puddle, just, and you're like, what? It's like boiling in there. <laughs> My Gatorade is 9,000 degrees. It's <laughs> melted into the bottle and turned into lava. The, the cooler itself is just <laughs> melting from the inside out, just it's collapsing in. You're like, ruined. uh, okay. All right, right. calendar page. That Yeti I, was only $300. Thanks, calendar page. Yeah. <laughs> Who's... Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. They're expensive. I know, you tripped me up on that one. We have, <laughs> I've been married for 25 years, and we have an igloo. Okay. Red, igloo, yep. white top. Yep. Tracking with me? That's the only one I ever had, right. like growing up. Yeah, it's got the little spigot oh, at the yeah. bottom. And the, uh, like the whole, yeah, the cup holders the, on the Yeah, it's got the cup holders on top. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like a measuring, like if you caught a fish and you want to know how long oh, it is, okay. it's got that. It, well, the, yeah, Didn't it's there. No, but sure. Yeah. And um, I know that we got that when we were married because. For our 25th anniversary in, in our in our bathroom by the bath like some the sumstress did a whole wall of like photos and stuff, and it was like our our wedding shower stuff. And there was the cooler, and it was filled with other like other oh, gifts and stuff. Not, yeah. Somebody gave yeah. us that, and like I have no need for another cooler. <laughs> no, ever. Yeah. That thing was probably like 20 bucks. Yeah. I've never once been like, man, I really need to upgrade my cooler game. Yeah, well, how big is your cooler? It's big. Big one. Yeah, okay. Because they have little ones and they have like sure. huge ones. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, I agree. I only ever had that one cooler and it was probably my parents from there. Like, yeah. uh, like my parents have one. It's a, it's a little guy with a handle. Yeah. One of these bad boys. White with an orange lid. Mm -hmm. It's called Little Oscar. Little Oscar. <laughs> I remember like, this. Okay. It was the only cooler we ever had. Yeah. I don't. Now these now these new coolers are like literally three hundred dollars. They like, literally think they're cooler. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> you need a cooler, cooler, get a yeti. Get a get a yeti. Get a yeti. Hydro Look, I think as soon as the coolers. cooler starts trying to be cooler, it ain't cool anymore. It ain't cool anymore. It ain't cool anymore, but I will say they make some, I won't say cool to avoid the confusion, but they make some bomb colors. Okay, but I have, I do have one thing to say okay. to the Yeti, to the coolers trying to be cooler. Okay. Chill. Chill. That checks out. Right? Chill, chill down. Okay. 
All right. Yeah, it okay. checks out. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, <laughs> we have another calendar that gives us a national day to celebrate. Today's a very specific day. Okay. Today is National Grape Popsicle Day. Okay. Okay. Grape Popsicle. Sure. Only the worst popsicle. I can't reach. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is a big, great <laughs> popsicle. <laughs> ah! Where's the, where's the thing you hold? The stick. Is it over here? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, only the worst flavor, but that's fine. It's not the worst flavor. It is flavor. absolutely the worst flavor. What are flavor. you talking about? Have you ever had a great popsicle? Of course I've had a great popsicle. And you liked it, you enjoyed it, it's more a, than any other a, flavor? I didn't say it was more than any other no, no, flavor. No, I like just said it can't be the worst. More than any one other flavor? I mean, cherry's going number one. Yeah. If you're doing a draft. Okay, let's, cherry's well, going let's do one. it, I guess. All right, so cherry's off the board. Okay. I'm picking first. I pick cherry. Okay, well then I pick. Oh, my, you're on the clock. Mm, you don't get this much time. I, I do. Orange. Okay, not Took a surprise. Orange. I thought you were going orange. Yeah. Um. Wow, see, I would probably go grape here. Really? Yeah, before lime. No, Before I would go. Green? I would go green. See, I'm saying I'm, I think I'm going. I think I'm going grape. There's a yellow one too, isn't there? I don't know. Sometimes I don't know. depends on what popsicle. The, the pop I'm thinking of the yes. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, there was a blue one, and I always thought that like blue would be like up there with the red, and like in. I think in my brain it was, but now, like, since I've revisited the Popsicle game, it's not that good. Mm -hmm. It's just really not. But it's okay. I really like fudgicles. Who doesn't? Like, the most of anything. Or, like, those strawberry shortcake creamsicles. <gasps> creamsicles. It's like, cre it's like fudgicle, creamsicle, those strawberry shortcake things, and then, like, everything else. <laughs> Well, we have a proposal okay. to make. A little something that this is the day, fam. And we're trying to see if it's going to get any traction. Mm -hmm. uh, so we love your, your feedback on this. Mm -hmm. and, and don't get all weird on us. Mm -hmm. It's just a simple thought. And um, we were thinking about a, a line of summertime church products yep. um, based on the, the great popsicle. Mm -hmm. and, and so we have mm -hmm. uh, great, great popsicles yes, in the... Uh, in the community. Group. I'm not gonna flip mine because I think I'm gonna. Like, would that be a. I, I feel like it would. I don't even think it would be sacrilegious to have a uh, popsicle communion. Summertime I'm not communion. To be weird. I just think, I mean, like, I think about Jesus, and I suppose if it felt sacrilegious for you, I wouldn't recommend doing it. But I think about Jesus, and I'm like, during the summertime, and if we had uh, great popsicles, they'd be come. I mean, maybe, okay. What you doing over there? Did yours melt? Um, We've had a malfunction. Yeah. Okay, this plan um, is foiled. <laughs> so I uh, I don't really know. Um, so it's the same. It's yeah. the same, but it's a, it's like a it's like an icy. Oh 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 oh. Yum. <laughs> okay. It's really good. <laughs> it's good. It is. And I see. And I see. It's similar. Similar, but different. But different. Different. Okay. Yep. All right, that was that. Good proposal. Great popsicle day. I really want a fudgicle now. Have a, but it's not fudgicle day. I don't think I care. Oh, wow. I you, really don't. You do don't. live out there on the edge. I think I'm going to continue living on the edge. And I'm going to go. Here's what I'm going to do. Maybe. Probably not, but definitely going to do it. Go to the store, right? I'm in the popsicle aisle. I'm walking down the popsicle aisle. The great popsicles know what day it is. They're aware. And I'm gonna look them in the eyes and I'm gonna open this door with the fudgicles and I'm gonna take the fudgicles and I'm gonna close the door and I'm gonna keep making eye contact with them and I'm gonna walk away. Then, wait, just don't judge me yet, I'm gonna walk around. It's a little surprise for the great popsicles. And I'm gonna sneak up on them coming the other way. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna open the door and I'm gonna yell, surprise! And then I'm gonna buy some of them too to make them feel included. Okay. Yep. That's pretty generous. Thank you. Yeah. I just, yeah, generosity is a gift. I, <laughs> I've i never seen a, a box of just great popsicles. That's true. 
Like what? It, here's my thing. Can we go to the store and like just start popping open boxes and like build our own great pack? Yeah. What They're are you like, doing, sir? Is, oh. I'm. It's great popsicle day. I'm what do you in a box think of great I'm popsicles. doing? I'm <laughs> obviously. Okay. Well, maybe they have like a special for great popsicle day. <laughs> maybe the popsicle people know. I don't, I don't know that they care about great popsicles like we do. You don't think the popsicle people planned? Purposefully? <laughs> Probably. Perhaps. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Period, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well done. Um, all right. Uh, because that was riveting yeah. and uh, yep. so important. <laughs> um, I'd like to do something trivial now. Okay. I'd like to play Trivial Pursuit. Okay. Okay. I did not see that coming when you Didn't. said something trivial. Listen, they're not popsicles, but we do have grape pop rocks from a funded box. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, you can get some grape pop rocks from a funded box. Box. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Only one way to get them. You have to get all six questions right on a Trivial Pursuit card. Can't win if you don't play. Make a guess. I'm going to guess at all six. We have the original 1981 edition of the classic board game Trivial Pursuit and the 40th anniversary edition. Oldest cards, newest cards. Dealer's choice. You going old or new? New. 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 Okay. New. Okay. Big stakes. Pop rocks from a fun dip pop. Big stakes. Okay. Blue. Blue. Geography. In which London square are the four 20-foot-tall Landseer lions that tourists love to climb? Lions. Climb it. Tourists love to climb. Um, Square? Yes. I will say the only thing that comes to mind, which is Trafalgar Square. That is absolutely correct. Ooh, let's go. Um, pink. Pink. Entertainment. Which bluesy singer got $7,500 for her Woodstock gig, wowing the crowd with Peace of My Heart? Ooh, break it. A little Peace of My Heart now, baby. Come on now, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, I believe the answer is Janis Joplin. That would be correct. All righty. Yellow. Yellow, history. Which U.S. president nominated Sandra Day O'Connor mm. to be the first female justice on the Supreme Court? Mm. So I'm naming the U.S. president? Yep. Uh, Ronald Reagan. Correct. Well, let's go. Purple. Purple. Grape. Purple. Grape. Purple. Purple. Art and literature. What author? of the bleak poem, The Wasteland, was a practical joker who made good use of exploding cigars and whoopee cushions. The Wasteland. Um, T.S. Eliot? That's correct. Well, that's good. Ah. Okay, green. Green, science and nature. What are you afraid of? Everything. <laughs> Women? What are you? <laughs> oh, wait. There's more. I was trying to be as honest as I could be. <laughs> what are you afraid of if you suffer from acrophobia? Acra? Acrophobia. A C R O phobia. Acrophobia. So not arachnophobia. No, no, no. no. So that'd be like spiders. Yes, it's not or, that. Acrophobia. Acrophobia? Yes. Is that like heights? Final answer? Yeah. Yeah. Heights? It's heights. Yeah. Orange. Oh boy. Uh, sports and leisure. What do participants wear? Hold on. What do participants wear? What do participants <laughs> wear? Participants. Sports and leisure. What do participants wear? Um. Uh, huh. chaps. <laughs> okay, good you want to continue the, yeah, please, uh, the yeah, whole thing? I don't have anything good. What do participants wear in the South Pole 300 challenge? A 
hot sauna to frigid air feat that boasts a 300 degree temperature change? Um, my answer <laughs> is nothing. Except for? They wear one thing? They wear one thing. Their birthday suit? <laughs> No? Re uh, re okay, read it again. Okay. What did participants wear in the South Pole 300 challenge? A hot sauna to frigid air feet that boasts a 300 degree temperature change. What do they wear? Yep. <laughs> Socks. <laughs> um, what do they wear? Um... It's a clothing item? Mm-hmm. Well. Ah, uh, I don't know no. then. All right. Like, um, it's, n I don't know how to answer that. Yeah, don't really. answer I that. don't really know how okay. to answer that. I was that. trying to get it right. What do they wear? They, as, I wouldn't take this long, but it's for, it's for some pop I know, I know, it, it, it's okay. Participants wear Um, flippers. <laughs> I don't know. That was my answer, flippers. <sighs> okay. I almost want to... I Yeah, no. Okay, the answer is nothing but boots. Nothing but boots? Yeah. Okay. So it says... I almost said shoes, but yeah. that wouldn't count. It. Well, it does say nothing except footwear. And it, uh, like beside it, so. So footwear would have. I almost said shoes, I but know, I didn't feel like you that said was socks, random. Enough. And you said flippers. You were all around yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's all right. All right. Yeah, that was a close one. Mm -hmm. Almost got it. Didn't. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. If you did. You get some pop rocks from Funday Pops. Pops. All right, we'll do a little everyday with Jesus. I do. All right, daily devotion and. 140 characters or less. Our thought for the day says, understanding salvation begins with accepting that it is initiated, provided, and maintained by God. It is his to give, not ours to earn. And then the verse is Romans 5, 6. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, God died for the, or Christ died for the ungodly. Mm. I remember like, uh, I remember writing this. Mm. And I just, I thought that was, it was one of those things where I was like just chewing on how it's like, okay, well, I'm saved by grace through faith. And it's not from ourselves, but the gift of God, not by works, so no one can boast. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. And, but then like how weird it is that we know that we're saved by grace, so God initiates it and um, God provides it. But then it's like we move into this maintenance mode where we're like, okay, I'll take it from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, God, uh, yeah, thanks for starting this whole thing off. Uh, thanks for providing it, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and take over control um, of, uh, of living this out and expressing it. But uh, he's the maintainer of it, like, like somehow yeah. or the other. Like, I, I th and I think some of it came from like some conversations regarding like, a, like some basic doct doctrine stuff, like can you lose your salvation? Mm. And okay, not to, um, you know, kind of, <laughs> get a whole thing going there, but like, no, you can't, I mean, they're not car keys. You know, salvation's not car. It, this is a gift from God. Can you reject it? Can you throw it away? Uh, can you renounce it and say, God, I don't want to be with you forever? Um, it, scripturally, maybe, you know, it, there seems to be like maybe uh, it, the, the scriptures kind of hold that intention. Yeah. But it's like God's got you and he will finish what he started and he will complete what he promised. Yeah. And I just think they're, when we lose sight of that, we can really lose sight of the, the real hope that we have. Yeah, and that's something I hear a lot too, like the trying to be good enough yeah. mentality. Yeah. Gotta let that go. Yeah. Oh, no, right? That's not, that's not what he has for us. No. No. He's got life, abundant life. And it's joyful and, and fun and filled with purpose and meaning and hardship and, yeah, yeah. and trials and difficulties, but he is in it and through it and with us, and he's got us uh, to the very end and beyond. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's right. This is the day.